Let's rock, baby. That's crazy! Bring it on! What's up, everybody? This is the Game Virus, also known as the G, -G, 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 -G Virus, and we are back at it again with more Let's Play Devil May Cry HD Collection. Blind, meaning I've never touched this game before, never played it, and I'm playing it for my first time for your viewing pleasure on my channel for you all to see. Last episode, we hit a bit of a roadblock, I hit a bit of a dead end. We had to fight a giant rock, a giant rock spider, <laughs> and he kicked our ass. Um, there's some trick to beating him that I just need to catch up on. I think I need to run up on him. And slash him when he's going for a swing at me. Um, my health drops quick, and uh, I gotta wait for my gauge to boost to not. Do I have to wait for my dev my devil trigger to reach all the way till all four icons are uh, highlighted before I can trigger it? Can I like go up to one or two and then trigger it, or does it need to be fully complete? You know. So those four symbols down there have to be all the way lit up for me to be able to trigger it. Not sure, but uh, I don't want to do any editing. I want I want to show me beating this guy flat out and figuring him out. But I think after this attempt, if I lose this attempt and then the next attempt, I'm just gonna do some editing. I'll bring you guys in once I figured something out and he's almost dead or something like that. Because last episode was a good three or four or five minutes just be struggling against this guy and getting my ass kicked all over the place. This vicious, this vicious rock spider bastard. The fuck? The first boss is kind of tricky. Kind of gives me a little bit of pause. I'm a little worried now. <laughs> maybe if I just keep upgrading, man. I, maybe I haven't upgraded enough? I don't know. Is there a way to grind? I don't know. But here we go. Round three against this piece of crap. This rocky, eight-legged piece of crap. Come on, you motherfucker. Let's go right to the slash. Oh, he backed up on me. Oh, we stopped him before he can... Okay. We got two hits against that guy before he starts to... Fucking hell. Turn and face me. Try to get that gauge to fill up. I gotta just keep firing. Get that mate. Will it? Will the gauge fill up if I use my handguns instead? That's more rapid firing. Oh, good. Get stuck like that. That is perfect. Get our gauge up there. See if we can get in close. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, then get out of there. Uh, get out of there. Oh, we got his health down a lot! Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I think we've done- No, don't start fucking up now! Hold it together, my friend. My flamboyant pretty boy. Hold it together and keep letting the lead fly! Come on, that gauge takes forever! We're so close! Why isn't it rising anymore? It's like the gauge isn't going up. Stay, stay in put. Oh, he's just going for shots. He's going all, all artillery. Oh, good. Stay right there. He got stuck for a second. I don't know why. Let's finish this. Oh, got him somehow. <laughs> How about that? Round three, and we totally took him out. It was no practice. Same sitting as last episode. This has all been in the same sitting. The past four episodes have all been in the same sitting. Brought you guys right back after those two failed attempts and totally got all up in that arachnid ass. Got all up in it and left my mark. Busted lead up in that ass. Instead of busting a nut in that ass, we busted some hot lead. We impregnated that spider bastard with some hot lead, some bullets, some shells. 
What were you about to do there, Dante? Go ahead, go ahead. Let me give him a... Do your pose or taunt or whatever you're gonna do. Your idle animation. <sighs> well, I'm so glad we took care of that guy. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Look at me. I'm so pretty. And deadly at the same time. Just like Trish. Except I wouldn't try to bash a, a Kawasaki motorcycle over the top of your head like Trish tried to do to me. I'm a nicer grade of guy. Okay, guys, we got through that. That was horrible. I am not looking forward to the rest of the boss fights. That was tricky. Well, we made it through. Which way did we come in from? We came in from this way, correct? I still want to check out... Oh, shit! Oh, mission's over. Oh, arachnophobia. Yeah, he's got Dante-phobia after the ass whooping I just doled out on him. We came back with a strategy, a plan, and we attacked, and we, and, and, and we, we, uh, we went through with it, full speed. <laughs> Apparently it wasn't good enough, because I just deserve a D off of that work. Ay -ay -ay. Oh, oh, we got a nice red orb bonus from taking down that, that filthy, disgusting rock insect. Feels good. I'm glad I decided not to do any editing. You guys got to see the whole entire defeat. Alright, on to the next mission. I don't know about this whole mission structure it has where, like, end of mission one and mission two. It should just be one long, easy, automatic... From here on, you'll be able to play in the easy mode. I don't want the easy mode. Does that mean I've been sucking? Is that why they're showing me this? In this mode, you'll be able to perform and enjoy many different moves with simplified controls. No. With just one button, you'll be able to perform many different sword actions depending on the situation. No. You'll also be able to fire without pressing R1 to aim. Plus, by holding down the fire button, you will be able to rapid fire. Fuck that. Hell no. No thanks. I like what we got here. I like the buddy system we have with the controls here so far. I want to keep that going. Alright, we need to do some upgrading. Fucking shit, we need to upgrade our health. <laughs> Hold on, how do we upgrade our health? Also, uh, uh, maximum, yes. Absolutely. 100% give me that. Hell yeah. Alright. We still got room for... No. No. No, we don't. <laughs> I'm gonna say we still got room to possibly upgrade Alistair? No. Not quite. Almost. We need a little bit more, uh, we need to slay a few more puppets and grim reapers and a few more entities of the night before we can upgrade further. Just a little bit more. Uh, okay, on to, we're on mission four already? Ugh, Black Knight. Display one's strength to the line and open the path. Acquire the melancholy soul. I guess I'll give it a shot. Hey, I'm back out here. Hey, hey, hey. All right, well. I want to go back to that statue thing. Although I don't know how to get... No, no, no. <clears throat> well, I need orbs anyways. Maybe I should take those guys out. I can do my upgrading real quick. It just got real chilly in my house all of a sudden. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, no slit mouth woman shit here for me. Not today. No, no, no. For those not in the know, the slit mouth woman is an urban legend in Japan. She's a woman who carries a large pair of scissors and her, her uh, cheeks are cut. Much like the Joker in uh, The Dark Knight. Producing a wide smile and she carries around gigantic scissors like that. Definitely give her a look on uh, YouTube. It's uh, some, uh, a J-horror character. Also a J-horror movie, but it's also an urban legend. How did I... I want to get back to that place where... Oh, yeah. How many orbs do I have now? Uh, oh, we got more than enough. I can't upgrade, though. I have to actually go to... Oh, what? I can save whenever? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Damn, I looked at that thing a couple times, too, and didn't realize that I could save whenever. Alright, that's awesome. That's good to know. Well, luckily, I'm doing a long session here, so I won't need to save in between, um, in the middle of progress for quite some time. Uh, let's see if we can find out where exactly that area was that we were at. 
No way! Are you serious? What? You're back? Oh, he's fucking me up! Golly! What the fuck was that? Holy crap! Was I... I, I, I could I even have harmed him? It looked like I was doing no damage. <sighs> and Dino Crisis sound effects go off as I upgrade. It's, it's definitely the Dino Crisis menu sounds. I cannot believe this. Is he still out here? What the fuck was that? No, you don't. Give me some health, somebody. Oh, God. Talk about crowd control. Get the fuck back. All of you. Talk about crowd control, man. They went flying. That's what you call dispersing. They vacated the premises off of that shotgun. That thing is not playing around. Can I upgrade my weapons? I've never been so happy to see these things. I'd rather see this thing than that spider guy. I think whenever he comes up, we just gotta run for our lives, you know? Oh, that looks cool as fuck. Whoa, how'd I do that? Oh! Okay, let's stop experimenting. Our health is low. This is not the time to experiment. When your health is low like that, you gotta get to the point. Get to the heart of the matter. Alright, good. Now, before I was rudely interrupted by an enemy that I soundly defeated, I was heading this way. Can't believe those guys. I soundly defeated that thing, and they have the nerve to throw him back in my face. Like, how could they? That's so wrong. I believe this was how I got to that area. Oh, hey, guys. More of you, huh? <clears throat> Stay away. <clears throat> Clear out. Make room. I'm coming. I'm coming through. Everybody get out. I s Damn it. I'm, I keep trying to get that combo right, but I can never do it correctly. I really gotta practice that somehow, some way. They should have like a little mini practice mode. There's something engraved beneath the opening. This is where the guiding souls gather. Okay. Oh, it looks like I couldn't do anything here anyways. Maybe if I slash it. Nope. Looks like it's some type of beast strung up right there. As soon as I figure out what to put there, it's gonna come down and charge me like that... Like that rock spider did. That rock tarantula. Alright, I think we have what we need to open up this door right here. This lion door. There's an immense power. Blah, blah, blah. I have a sign. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was about to say. I thought I just grabbed that by kicking the rock lob... The rock... I was about to say rock lobster. <laughs> Uh, the rock spider. Here sleeps the gatekeeper. Magical destruction will awaken him. Oh, yeah! How about I just do regular destruction? I figured when, when they said magical, they meant I had to be in double mode, but I guess not. I guess I'm magical, period. Oh, shit. Oh, come on! Ah! What kind of enemy is this now? No, you don't. And I, I can't even tell if I'm hurting the thing. Oh, he is very nimble now, isn't he, you spry motherfucker? Did I get him? No, I did not. Was I supposed to hit that? I was probably supposed to hit that orb.
That wasn't enough, huh? Oh, I need some damn health. Do I have health? I certainly don't. Shit! Jump! 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 Did I get him? I didn't even do anything! I was running away! How'd he die? Shit, I'm not complaining. He died at the right time. So, what did I get for that? I can go in here again? I could already go in there. Oh no, I could never go in here. That's right. I was hopping over here. Okay. Got confused. Okay. So we can go in here now. Hooray. Huzzah! Let's get to it. Oh. Guys, I could really use some help. I should probably give those handguns a test again, but this shotgun has real stopping power, and I appreciate that. I, I, I appreciate you. Shotgun, you are doing your duty. You are acting as a shotgun should. There's nothing more... There, there's nothing that I love more than a shotgun that actually is worth its... It's worthwhile. Shotguns should be fucking heavy duty, and they should clear a room. They should put people down. And this shotgun is definitely living up to what I think a shotgun should be. To the standards of my shotgun. The stairs are blocked off, so I can't go any further this way. Standards are met as far as shotgun play. Double barreled. Sawed off, in fact. Man, can I get some health? Anybody? Someone? Ah! There you go. Uh, I gain I gain health in this mode anyway, so that's one reason why I initiated it. Let's check out this door before I continue. What a gigantic, sprawling, huge castle this is. Oh, what do we got here? Okay. There is a note or a small bit of sound in this in the BGM that I can swear is like a note from Resident Evil 4. Like when you're in the save room. It's like for a split second, there's like a note in the audio. That's ripped right out of, well, it's from Resident Evil 4. It's not playing right now, so it's just making me look stupid. But I guess if you've played this before, you've probably noticed it yourself. If you've played this in Resident Evil 4, you've noticed it yourself. It's a statue of a female with a melon, a melancholic expression. <laughs> there's an opening to place something. Oh yeah? <laughs> Dante unzips his pants. Well, whatever it is, I don't have it. It doesn't look like there's an opening. Damn it. You can't scroll through these quickly. That's annoying. Oh, I didn't mean to. I tried to slash it. I didn't mean to hit it again. I keep thinking square is the slash button. What game have I been playing where square is the melee? Is the melee button. An emblem of a sun is engraved. There's something written beneath it. The brightness of the guiding light will scorch you. Only those who can bear the light can open the new path. I'm almost certain I can't bear that light yet, even though from what I can tell, Dante's immortal, at least to impaling, he's immortal. There are documents here that were probably used for diplomacy with the neighboring countries. Oh, look at this. That's a very macabre looking atmospheric ghoulish bed. That, that looks awesome. I would absolutely sleep in the bed like in a bed like that. The G virus has a bit of a dark side in case you didn't know. I would absolutely. As much as I love the light, I do have a bit of a, a bit of interest in the darkness. That looks pretty cool. It's cool. I imagine if your bedroom looked like that. Of course, all props <laughs> and not real spider webs and shit and not real dingy dang sheets they just were made to look that way that would be pretty awesome that would be a pretty awesome room be pretty neat pretty nifty room to be like you know all right i'm gonna retire for the night and this is where you go to sleep you know with this exact same decoration but you know it was all proppy that'd be pretty awesome i don't think i have anything yeah i can't do nothing here i am starving by the way I'm so hungry. Can't destroy that. There's not really that many dis destructible environments. There's a note left by a Castilian. Often I feel that the time passes awkwardly around here. In some places, the flowers never die. 
In other places, they wither ever so quickly. I cannot stay here very long, for I know my sanity will leave me. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen to poor Dante here. Dante seems a little bit off already, so I don't think he has anything to worry about. There's a portrait of the Castilian and his spouse placed above the fireplace. Is she hot? Oh, cute. <laughs> He's saying she's cute, huh? She's a little piece of ass. All right, I'll bite. It's an amazingly beautiful mirror, but still, there's something dark and evil deep within its reflection, as if it's trying to suck me inside. And it can't be broken. All right, let's go ahead and try this door then. Ah, it's sealed shut by immense power. Oh, we can't do anything in this little lion head room that we had to fight so hard to get into. Uh, oh, no, no, no. The lion head room led, led to a hallway. So there's other places to examine, I think, I guess. I don't know. Yes, there is. Continuing up we go. Uh-oh. There's something written. The sword is the key to freeing the soul. The key resides at the highest place. Well, it's not this sword he's talking about. Well. Okay, well, I'm a bit lost. Oh! Don't want to fall off that. I don't know. I hope an immortal devil descendant like Dante here wouldn't die from a uh, wouldn't take fall damage from falling from high places but oh hey now oh it's the red ones should I just jump off the edge here what happens if I do that all right well shit what do I do I am stuck ladies and gentlemen I don't know quite what to do next Wonderful. Did we go through here? Yes, we did. What do I have on me? If I had something, it would automatically use it. This isn't one of those games where you have to access your inventory and tell it to use it. It'll use it on its own. Oh, we got some new, 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 new stuff to read. Okay, Sin Scissors! Uh-oh! So they aren't Grim Reapers. They are one of the low-class evil spirits that can only exist by taking the shape of physical objects. These evil spirits have chosen deadly scissors as their shape. These evil spirits are dependent on the masks they wear. They cannot exist without them. Uh-oh. Oh, there's more! A huge gap between them! When they are coming down with their scissors, there's a short moment of time when they are off guard. If you attack at that right moment, you'll be able to damage them critically. Such a huge gap between those paragraphs. Shadow. Oh, so that's a regular enemy. I thought that was a special enemy I fought just for that door, like a little mini-boss. Nope. We'll be seeing more of him, sadly. It has evil spells covering its body, thus allowing it to deflect all sword attacks. It's an evil spirit that takes form from its own shadows, but they can also take on forms, take on other forms by changing the spells on its body. Damn. In its shadow form, all sword attacks are deflected. This is because it remembers the weapons from its fights with the ancient knights. However, firearms seem to be an exception. Thank goodness it didn't learn, uh, anything about guns. It's re it releases magical power instantaneously in order to deflect certain attacks. At the same time, the magical powers are shot toward its enemy. It is very difficult to avoid being hit with this attack. When you damage its surface to a certain point, it will come to a point when it can't deflect the attack anymore, showing its true form. This is when it is most vulnerable. Yeah, we saw that. The true form is the core of its evil power. Firearms will not work against this core. Its spinning attack is very accurate. Watch out for it when it jumps high into the air. Good lord, that was a lot. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut the video here, and when I get back, I guess I'll continue examining these, uh, enemies, and then I will try to figure out what I'm supposed to go or do next. This is the Game Fires. If you like the video, feel free to like it. If you want more, feel free to subscribe. If you 
watched a lot of my content or you really like what you saw and you plan on watching tons more, perhaps considering donation, donating to my Patreon. Uh, as much as one dollar would be much appreciated for this free content, but above all, your viewership is what's most important to me, and I thank you for it. Thanks for watching. Later.